Hi, this is Connie for Lamp Into My Feet, and I've been wanting to share this with you for a little while, and I just haven't had the chance to do it, so finally I stole away a little time, just came back from the gym a little while ago, <laughs> so I wanted to share this, that this is something that I read, like I said, a few days ago, and I've been in the Old Testament, because I've been going through, through the, the Bible slowly, and I came across this, and it, it was something that I have never seen before. It's really mysterious and very interesting. Uh, let's, I don't know, maybe you've seen it before, but I never saw it before. And it really spoke to my heart, so I want to share it with you. It's in Zechariah, uh, which is the Old Testament prophet. And it is chapter 1 of Zechariah, verse 7. Listen to this, beginning at verse 7. Listen to this. On the 24th day of the 11th month, which is the month Shabbat, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah the prophet, the son of Berechiah, the son of Elo, as follows. I saw at night, and behold, a man was riding on a red horse, and he was standing among the myrtle trees which were in the ravine, with red sorrel and white horses behind him. Then I said, my Lord, what are these? And the angel who was speaking with me said to me, I will show you what these are. And the man who was standing among the myrtle trees answered and said, These are those whom the Lord has sent to patrol the earth. So they answered the angel of the Lord who was standing among the myrtle trees and said, We have patrolled the earth and behold, all the earth is peaceful and quiet. When I first read that, I said, wow, <laughs> Lord, you know, every so often in the word of God, we see like a veil that is pulled back, like a curtain that is pulled back. So we can see what is invisible to our eyes. I'm thinking about in the book of Job, where, for example, the book of Job, where Satan goes and he's uh, before the throne of God and he's basically bad-mouthing Job <laughs> and the Lord is, is defending Job. So we couldn't see that. We wouldn't know about that if it wasn't written in the scripture. Well, in Zechariah, in this Old Testament, um, the book of this Old Testament prophet, Zechariah, well, again, we see something that we can't see, something that we couldn't see. I mean, we, I, I would imagine, they say that every time that in, in the Old Testament or the New Testament, when they see angels, it was, <laughs> you know, it was, like, it was kind of freaky. Um, but here Zechariah sees this these people who are actually patrolling, because the, the Bible says it, that God has sent the, these angels to patrol the earth. That gave me such comfort that I wanted to share it with you, especially in these times where, you know, uh, there's we're living in the end days. We know that this is this is the very uh, I don't know when the Lord's coming back, but the Lord's coming back, and things just seem to be getting progressively worse. And we have all these tragedies that are happening because the enemy knows he doesn't have that long. So sometimes, yeah, I could feel. Like, the, like we're by ourselves, beloved. That the Lord is here, you know, but he's, a lot of times it feels like it's us and it's, and it's the enemy that, that is here and it's it's the world. But God is showing us in his, through his word that he actually has things that we don't know about. We can't even, this is just a part of it. Imagine what else there is that, that it isn't revealed to us. But here the Lord is showing us you may not see it, you may not feel it, you may not know it, but I've got my angels out there patrolling this earth. You're not alone. You have the God squad out there, <laughs> you know, and it's it's the real God squad, you know, and that's, we, we it, right now, and it kind of reminds me of, um, I don't know if you've ever read the book, I'm rereading this book. Because I read it when I was younger, and I'm starting to get more real as we go along. A book called *This Present Darkness*, 
which is by Frank Peretti. If you've never read it, read it. If you've read it, read it again. It's kind of interesting to, to read it in, in terms of what's happening today. It's even more of this present darkness. But it's nice to know that in this present darkness, where it, in, in the book he has he has that going on. He, you, you see these angels that are also patro like patrolling, you know. But read it again, you know. And by all means, read the book of Zechariah too and read that, that part. It's uh, first Zechariah, first chapter, 7 through 11. Read that. Let it minister to you. Let it, let it just give you comfort and encouragement to know that we're not by ourselves. There's a patrol out there that is keeping watch over the earth. Okay? So anyway, until the next time I talk to you, I pray that, that you meditate upon God's word, that you continue to grow in, in his word, that you be, uh, continue to be more and more like him. Okay? He's coming back soon. God bless you.